I love how this passage um, starts by talking about shadows. It says the law is only a shadow of the good things that are to come, not the realities themselves. And I've heard people say that um, the Old Testament has Christ-shaped shadows on it. Things that happened and stories of people that have parallel plot lines um, to the life and death of Jesus. And an example of this is um, Abraham with Isaac. He obeys God com God's command to sacrifice his only son. But of course when he comes to killing Isaac, God stops him and he sees the ram caught in the thorn bush. Um, and he kills that instead. And this is like God sacrificing his only son. And the way Jesus wore a crown of thorns is just like the ram. Um, and the shadow of something is often interesting to look at, but it's just got absolutely nothing on the reality itself. And the reality is that Jesus came to f perfect the ways of the Old Testament. The unperfect way of gaining forgiveness was the yearly sacrifices. However, these sacrifices were yearly reminders to people of the guilt um, that of of um, the things that they had done wrong, and um, obviously that would then provoke a lot of guilt within them. However, Jesus came the perfect way, and instead of having to do yearly sacrifices for their sins, Jesus came and he made himself one big sacrifice, so that we can move on from sin, so that we don't have to feel guilt so that we don't need to remind ourselves of it, but that we can forget it, so that we can move on and we can move up towards better things.